I'm going around to all the UK supermarkets to see what you can buy for £5 in 2024. This week I'm heading to the king of frozen food, Iceland. I've never shopped at Iceland before. <laughs> yeah, that's right, this guy. Never shopped at one before. Been in one once, but never bought anything. I'll tell you my full thoughts at the end. As usual, there are a couple of rules. I've got to buy protein, got to buy a sweet treat, and I've got to have leftovers. I walked in and was greeted by four giant freezers with one pound smacked all over them. It was almost overwhelming with the choice. But I settled on pizza for lunch and this chicken for dinner, which I had big plans for. I walked past the Greg's freezers. I had heard of this, and I did know that there was a lot more than what I could see in the freezers here, but it did make me think. You've heard of Keith Eats the Menu. What is it? Oh, it's good. How about we try it all, oh, and we call it Sam's Frozen Feasts. We could do Greg's. We could do TGI's. They've also got Harry Ramsden's Cathedral City. So I feel like there's some potential there. I tell you what, if this video gets 250 likes, it's game on. Anyway, I finished up my shop and brought it home as I was darn hungry for breakfast. Now I've just realized I'm a little bit annoyed about this. I thought the oats so simple was £1.30. So I actually had 25 more pence to spend. Breakfast was one of those Quaker Oaks porridge bowls. I've not actually had one of the porridge bowls before. If I do get these, I tend to get the sachets or the loose oats, much like we did in the Tesco episode just gone. If you do want to watch it, there'll be a thing up on the screen there for you, just so you can click it and catch yourselves up on this series. Quite simple, really. It's just boiling water and putting it to the line. Then you wait two minutes and you're supposed to have the perfect porridge after that but I always find they tell you to put way too much water in it I'm sorry porridge should not be wet and sloppy porridge should and maybe have a little bit of wetness to it but it should be a bit denser and thicker I mean that's how I like my porridge anyway I don't like it milky and watery it was literally just runny watery which porridge shouldn't be but it tasted fine it tasted fine now for my sweet treat I got them from the pound aisle and I got these little milk lollies which are essentially just Iceland's version of mini milks, uh, but they're only a pound. Like I always like to do on this channel, I got a little bit experimental. And experimental is probably the right word. What I did is from our last food shop, we bought some ginger nut biscuits. So I got a load of them, popped them into a bag and just smashed them up. Put all of those into a bowl and I put some melted butter into them uh, just to make, you guessed it, kind of like a biscuity cheesecakey base. So I topped those and a few ramekins. I had a few little ones. You get three flavors of mini milks. You get a chocolate, a strawberry, and a vanilla. And it's always the same. And Iceland were doing just exactly that. I thought there's three different flavors. We've got to make three. So let's try a couple of different techniques to see which one of these work the best. So I started off with my vanilla and I thought I'd rub it in between my hands as just a way of warming it up. Then I put it into a bowl, mashed that all together with a fork and it just gave me like a normal vanilla ice cream type consistency. I then topped up one of the ramekins with this vanilla ice cream mixture I had. That went into the freezer for later for after dinner. The chocolate one, that just went in the saucepan to melt down. I thought I'd try it like that. The strawberry one went into a saucepan, but I also added a tiny bit of milk. I don't I don't know why. I thought maybe maybe adding milk might, might do something, maybe. I don't know, you're all probably gonna tell me in the comments that that was a really silly idea, but I did it and here we are. Let's see what happens. For lunch, out of all of the things that I could have got, I decided to get a pizza. A one pound for a frozen pizza. That has felt like a pretty good deal. You know, what, what does a one pound pizza taste like? What's a one pound pizza from Iceland like? From the box, it looks really good, right? Looks like a really decent ham and pineapple. Also, yes, if you don't like pineapple on pizza, you are wrong. It looks really decent. Great cheese ratio, a decent amount of toppings on it. But then I took it out of the box. There was barely any cheese on it. But I figured, okay, let's just give it a go. You know, maybe the cheese will melt and it will spread a bit more. It did not spread more. A little bit more cheese for one pound. Maybe I should have put some of my own cheese on it. Uh, why not? Maybe a few extra toppings as well. Uh, something I used to do back at uni a lot. I would buy a normal cheese pizza and I would put all of my own toppings on it. Things like mushrooms, red pepper, onion, and I was always really good when I did that. But this actually brought me back to those days. I actually remember I used to shop at a Lidl at uni and I think for two pound, something like that, one pound fifty to two pound, you got three margarita frozen pizzas. Taste test, surprisingly decent. I was actually quite impressed. The base was crispy, which is great. 
The toppings, they tasted good. There was nothing wrong with the toppings. And the sauce, it was actually a little bit sweet, a little bit tangy, and despite there being quite a lot of it, it didn't feel like it detracted from anything else. I will say the cheese you can barely taste. So if you're buying one of these pizzas and you have some extra cheese in the fridge, maybe you want to top it up with a little bit more cheese just to give it a little bit more flavor. But I was, I was quite impressed with the Iceland pizza. Then it came to dinner time. Now I picked up this sweet and sour chicken and rice. I've often been skeptical about frozen rice. First time I tried it was when I did my Poundland challenge. I have a rice cooker. I would much rather buy a lot of rice and freshly make it right. But I don't know what they're doing. There's nothing wrong with frozen rice. I I didn't even know you could freeze rice until recently. But I did want to do a little bit of a zhuzh and that's where this tin of peas and carrots came from. So I just emptied them out, fried them up with a little bit of spring onion, a couple of mushrooms and a little bit of broccoli. I just wanted to add a bit more to this dish. It was looking just very orange from the box and when I took it out of the packaging. So I needed that little bit of green in there. I, I mean, I'm technically adding a bit more orange when I'm adding the carrots, but say lovely. Let's taste it. And of course there's a cat here. The flavor's good, the sauce is good. The chicken is... It's a little bit, a little bit dry, but the flavor's there. I think adding these carrots, the mushrooms, and especially the broccoli, my favorite vegetable, definitely makes it feel like a full meal. And hey, big bonus, we've got leftovers. These came out. I think that's all I can say about them, but I can't complain until we have an actual taste test. So we'll do it in the order that we made them. Oh, I mean, it's, it's impossible to get into for one. We'll try the vanilla one. I mean, maybe it's a little icier, but it's still kind of yummy. I think it loses something by doing it in the process I did, which probably makes sense, right? You don't normally melt ice cream just to refreeze it, do you? Let's try the chocolate. This one looks questionable. Interestingly, that's better than the vanilla. What is that? What have I made? Why does putting milk in it do something really weird to it? It's just gonna be ice, isn't it? It is literally just ice. Go on, bit of ice. It's a frozen strawberry milkshake. Yeah, that's weird, man. Chocolate, chocolate wins. I mean, yeah, we've got leftovers. We've got a load of mini milks left. Uh, nothing from lunch, nothing from breakfast but that's fine. We technically, we got our protein, so that's really good. Obviously we have our sweet treat. So all in all, it's a tick on all of the boxes today. Would I shop at Iceland again? You know, you know, there's a lot there that I'd actually be really interested to try. Yeah, why not? Let's do Iceland again sometime. It's been fun.